Rick, you are go to maneuver to your Ohms 2 burn attitude. Okay, we copy. Thanks. Capcom Charlie Hobaugh here in the flight control room informing uh, Commander Rick Husband that uh, he has the green light uh, to begin the change in the orbiter's orientation for the uh, orbital maneuvering system engine burn that is coming up 11 and a half minutes from now. This will be about a uh, two-minute engine firing that will uh, circularize uh, Columbia's orbit, essentially uh, raising uh, the height of its perigee so that uh, Columbia can be flying in an orbit uh, that would be almost uh, circular in nature at about 180 statute miles above the Earth. All of Columbia's systems are functioning perfectly at this hour. No issues at all being worked by the flight control team here, the ascent team led by flight director Leroy Kane. In about two hours at the time that uh, the activation of the SpaceHab research double module gets underway, uh, the uh, key activation of all of its systems prior to uh, activating all of the experiments on board Columbia for the 16-day research flight, the Orbit 2 team led by lead flight director Kelly Beck will be coming on console to take over from the Ascent team as science operations begin in earnest. The red team will be uh, primarily presiding over the uh, activation of all those systems. The blue team, which has been awake uh, since yesterday afternoon to uh, sleep shift uh, into the correct uh, sleep, wake sleep hours that uh, will be employed for the blue team during uh, the course of this mission, will be heading uh, to bed just after 1.30 central time this afternoon for an abbreviated six hour sleep period while the red team presses on with the initial phase of this research flight. The red team is comprised of Commander Rick Husband, Mission Specialists Kulp Nechavla and Laurel Clark, and Payload Specialist Ilan Ramon from the Israel Space Agency, the first Israeli to fly in space. That uh, team, uh, through the course of this mission, essentially will work in the pre-dawn and daytime hours, while the blue team, Pilot Willie McCool, Mission Specialist Dave Brown, and Payload Commander Mike Anderson, will be working on the evening and graveyard hours. Their dual shift operations, uh, working 12-hour shifts, will provide round-the-clock scientific capability for some 80 experiments in this multidisciplinary mission. Houston, Columbia, we've selected secondary UHF frequency. We're getting a lot of noise on the uh, primary. Rick, we copy. you used in for Rick and your UHF. We down here are comfortable with you powering off your UHF if necessary. Uh, we don't see that we'll need it for any time soon. And we copy Houston. We'll go ahead and uh, power off the UHF. Thanks. No sweat.
Columbia, Houston. Rick, we see you in attitude for your Ohms 2 burn. In about three minutes, we'll have a Tedris handover to Tedris Z. We'll lose you for hopefully just a moment and pick you back up on Z, and we expect you'll be on the cards at that time. Okay, we copy that you show us in attitude and uh, hand over to Tedris Z in three minutes. That's a good read back, Rick. This is Mission Control Houston. This is Mission Control Houston as we continue to watch uh, replays of the launch of Columbia, which uh, was conducted without a hitch, an uneventful countdown on a perfect day to fly in central Florida. The launch occurring 36 minutes ago on time at 9.39 a.m. Central Time, 10.39 Eastern Time to kick off the first of six planned shuttle flights this year.